Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody, bringing you the news happening in the world right now. Well, Las Vegas has been taken over by nerds and tech geeks all around as the Consumer Electronics Show has started today. What's been announced so far? Well, I'm about to talk about it. Here we go, the day geeks everywhere have been waiting for, CES has kicked off today, so because of that, it's a tech day only here on Now. Starting with NVIDIA, who actually held the very first press conference of the show last night, which is slightly strange, but hey, what the heck. They announced a new brand of mobile processors called the Tegra 4, which they're calling the world's fastest mobile processor. This new processor contains 72 GPU cores and has been built to save on power consumption something the previous versions of the Tegra chip have not been so great at. You can expect to see some brand new Android powered phones with this chip inside in the coming months. But that's not all they announced, NVIDIA went one step further to announce what they're calling Project Shield, a new handheld gaming system with a 5 inch multi-touch display and a game pad. It'll be available later this year and it'll be powered by the new Tegra 4 chip and of course it runs on Android so basically it's an Android gaming system. But in a cool sort of way, it's also able to output 4K resolution TV through HDMI, which is good as long as you have a 4K TV to display it. Another really cool aspect about this new mobile gaming device is that if your home computer has a GeForce GTX 650 or higher, you can actually stream your PC games right to this device over Wi-Fi. So it's a pretty cool looking little device and it'll be available in North America in this spring. No prices have yet unfortunately been announced. From the world of gaming and graphics, let's move to another huge part of this year's CE. Yes, TVs. 4K is the new thing this year, the new resolution being pushed by all manufacturers. The new resolution is four times greater than the standard 1080p. This is a great thing for all those really big TVs because once you get so big, the detail in it begins to get lost a little bit. So a higher resolution is a good thing to think about, but for right now, the price is still pretty high. How high exactly? Well, manufacturers are kind of avoiding this price, but they're around $10,000 so not the cheapest thing on the market, but they sure are cool. At the LG press conference today, they announced their new 55 and 65 inch 4K TVs and talked about their new technology for upscaling 1080p content to 4K. Again, no real price has been announced on these TVs, but one thing I know is the word upscaling is never really a good thing. You can upscale all you want, LG. It's never gonna be the true 4K resolution. And that's one big problem TV makers are having with this new resolution. There's little to no content available in 4K right now. But just like when 3D TVs hit the market just a few years ago, you needed the TV first before content is made available for them. Now it's surprisingly easy to get access to 3D Blu-ray content, and I imagine in a few years, 4K will be the exact same thing. Now whether that'll be a physical copy of something, or if it'll be streamed through the internet, I have no idea. Another big push by LG is the move from LCD to LED technology. They announced during the press conference that all their new TVs will be produced with LED technology, allowing them to actually create TVs with even thinner bezels. If you looked at an LG TV lately, there's literally like no bezel on them anymore. It's like really, really small. And with this new LED technology, it'll be even smaller, maybe not even like there. Picture's just gonna go from one side of your TV to the other, and there's nothing around the sides. Along with the move to LED, they're pushing OLED technology as well. OLED is the organic light emitting technology that allows deeper blacks in the picture on your screen. Their new 55 inch OLED TV will be hitting the market very soon. And if you want one, it'll also be hitting your wallet. The new TV will be yours for a mere $12,000. Yeah, not the most cost effective. Thinking about it now, you could probably buy like a really nice TV for like $2,000 a piece and then mount like a bunch of them on your wall side by side and have like this crazy sweet media wall. I have no idea what the purpose of that would be, but hey, you could do it for around the same price. One of the last things LG showed off was their really cool new laser TV. And yep, that's right, I said laser. This new TV called the Hecto Laser TV Projector is capable of projecting a 100 inch screen only 22 inches away from the wall. So you no longer have to worry about mounting something to your ceiling or of course people walking in front of the projector and then of course messing up the picture on the wall. This crazy thing is able to project a full 1080p content and is equipped with LG's smart TV platform, but I don't think you'll be buying it for that reason. LG has stated this new laser system can run for 25,000 hours before needing to be replaced. Now, if you're interested in this cool new laser projection TV, well, LG hasn't really announced a release date or even pricing. Basically, they just came out and said, hey, look, we have this cool thing, it's laser. Woo, look at how cool it is. You can have it someday, 
for some amount of money. Yeah, that's that's literally how they announced it. It was like word for word. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, something that's not really coming out of CES, but Apple has announced that their app store for iOS has hit 40 billion downloads and 20 billion of that happened in the past year. So it's good to see their app market is still alive and well now if they could only work on their iOS platform as a whole because it's beginning to feel a little boring and bland. So with all the CES talk, I wanna know, do you think trade shows like this are even necessary anymore? Considering Apple, Microsoft, and Google aren't even there. Basically, do you think companies should continue to go to trade shows like this, or should they hold their own private events? Tell me in the comment section below, or of course you can let me know on my Facebook page, Twitter, or Google+. Links to all that and the other topics I talked about in today's episode in the description below. And once you're done commenting, why not click the subscribe button below as well? That way all of the newest episodes of Now will get sent straight to you. Then you can click the like button because you like this video, you like the content in it, or you like me. One of the three. I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.